from the previous video, I went over how to use OpenAI Swarm to create multiple AI agents working with each together. Given that the cost can accumulate relatively quickly using paid AI models, I thought I would share how you can use Olama LLM models locally in Swarm. The setup will only take a few minutes, and it is really easy. Launch your terminal and run the command pip install python-.env to install the python package to load environment variables from a .env file. If you are creating environment variables directly on your PC, you can skip the installation. Now launch your code editor and create a .env file to store the environment variables. In the env file, create an environment variable called OpenAI base URL and assign Alama's server address as the value. The OpenAI base URL environment variable in the OpenAI API is used to specify a custom base URL for making API requests when using OpenAI REST API. By changing the OpenAI base URL endpoint, we can redirect the API code to the Olama server instead. Also, um, make sure your Olama server is online. Create a new Python file. In the script, import swarm and agent from swarm module. Next, from .env import load.env function. Insert load.env function to load the environment variable from the .env file. I am going to temporarily comment out the function to ensure the setup works. Now create a swarm object and create a constant variable to define the model ID. For now, I will set the model to gpt 4 mini. Create an agent with the specified model and call the run function to start the chat session. Now if I run the script, the API call will route to the standard OpenAI API endpoint and uses the gpt 4 mini model to process the prompt. But if I uncomment the load.env function, which forced the API call route to the Olama server based on the OpenAI base URL endpoint we defined in the env file. This time, we're going to get a 404 model not found error. If you get the 404 error, that means you have successfully set up Olama with Swarm. Now we can update the model ID with a local LLM model and run the script again. And Swarm will respond successfully using an LLM model stored locally. And that covers everything in this video. I hope you found this lesson helpful and informative. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Swarm tutorials. Happy coding. See you in the next one.